Hi guys, uh, this is a video on a totally free game that you can download on your computer. Uh, this game is called Trackmania Nations Forever. There is quite a few people who have this game already, so I won't be surprised if quite a few of my viewers already have this game. Uh, I've talked about it previously on a video, but I only touched on it lightly uh, when it was Trackmania Nations. But recently, uh, just in the last month, it's undergone a huge update and apparently... Um, that they put so much into the update that they had to give it a new name, so they gave it Trackmania Nations Forever. Now, what is the game? Well, basically, you have these carts and you go around the tracks and you verse other people online. Now, the great thing about Trackmania Nations Forever is that there's also a fully functioning solo mode. There wasn't that much of a solo mode previously. You sort of had a practice, but it's got fully functioning solo mode now. So if you want to practice, then you do that. But the game really focuses on the online play because you choose your uh, country when you first sign up uh, to use this game. And you basically choose a flag and then you converse other people. So um, you just go into a race, uh, usually on a server I've noticed there's around 20 or 30 people and you basically verse all of them on exactly the same track. Um, you, there's like loops, There's uh, you got the side, there's uh, go in the air, there's loads of things. I can't really explain it, it's best to watch it. Um, but basically you play, yeah, you play other countries and you earn track mania points I think. Um, as far as I know, they get reset every month. I'm not sure, but you basically have like a ladder, and then you go up the ladder. The better you, or the longer you play, because I mean, the longer you end up playing it for hours. If you if you start, you can't stop really. It's that it's that good. Uh, it's definitely one of my favourite games. Um, so the um, actual game itself is about 500 megabytes, but you can see why it's that much because there's so much content in the game, and the graphics are really really good, um, especially with this version. It actually improves on the last version, so. Um, it's definitely worth the download. I'll provide the download link in the description, and I'll basically just um, oh, I could give you a tour of the game. So, if before I start, um, when you download it, well, so far there hasn't been any updates from when I downloaded the client. So, um, if you're watching this video and it's a couple of months old, there's probably an update for it. But it, it, you just click the update button um, on the right. Um, it, this is actually in 640 by 480, so you may not be able to see this. Um, you may want to like full screen it or whichever but either way I'm just going to quickly going through the configuration here so uh, you can choose your language choose if it's full screen or not I'm having it windowed so I can see you got uh, so I can show you guys um, uh, without using anything like uh, fraps or anything like that or one of the free clients I can just use cam studio hopefully it'll work um, 3d glasses now I'm not sure what this is I assume that you can, it puts in a special mode and if you've got 3d glasses you it looks better I'm not sure um, perhaps someone can explain that to me. Uh, windowed resolution 640 by 480. I have it at performance. I've got it at faster, but I'm actually going to switch that to nicer. Uh, network upload, network download. Now I was um, I had my internet capped because I downloaded quite a bit, and um, it seemed to play okay. And I was only uploading at something like 10 kilobytes a second. So if you've got a slower connection, it should be okay. But I did notice a few people in the game who were like really lagging, and uh, they were getting invalid times. So that's one thing to watch out for. Um, so you can set your, you can limit your upload and download, uh, choose a profile, parental lock, and then you've got this advanced here where you can choose um, advanced uh, display options, forcing blur, um, um, anti-aliasing, um, or aliasing, sorry, um, benchmarking your system, audio, network, peer-to-peer, -peer, game, and input. So I suppose you can use a controller as well, which I suppose would be quite nice, really. Um, if you have a USB controller or something like that, there's, um, it might be worth doing that. So... I'm just going to start the game and uh, just give a brief view of it. So, just click on play now. Just going to try and move the box across. It's uh, loading at the second. Uh, I've un unticked the auto pan option on Cam Studio, so just try and move this in. So, you see, I've already got my account, mobile phone 2003. Uh, you basically normally create a new profile. I don't think you even have to validate your email. You might have to, I can't remember what I did, but I did it so long ago because um, I had it with Trackmania Nation. So, I'm just going to click into uh, mobile phone 2003. I'm just going to click connect. And as you can see, we've got a nice little spinning world in the background, which is quite cool. And, uh, oh, right, I see. So it's um, advertising the other version of it, which is Trackmania United Forever. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. So Trackmania Nations United, I suppose that focuses on single. Uh, player. Oh, and you can see it comes with a free pair of 3D glasses, so you can play Trackmania and True 3D. That'd be quite cool to see, actually. So anyway, I'm going to continue this. So you've got a choice of play solo, play online, and party play. 
So I'm just going to go to uh, play solo for the time being. Um, in fact, no, I'm going to go on to play online. I'm just going to go on one of the servers and just play a quick track. I usually go on the suggested servers and then the top one. I like the time attack mode. I think you get a choice of time attack or rounds. See, this one is rounds, so I really want to go on the time attack. Uh, we'll see which one it is. Uh, it may be possible that I've been capped now, so it may take a little while. So I apologise for that. As you can see, um, I haven't really played this game. I've um, pretty much downloaded it like uh, a couple of days ago. I played it a couple of times. So I've only got like 21 um, points with it. Okay, we'll see if we can get one. There we go. Time attack, four minutes. That's fine. And you can see all the players. You can add add friends on the game. So if you if you see someone you like. Um, you can do that. So talk is space. One, two, three is change view. Enter and backspace is restart. Now the enter is respawn. So if you go along the track, um, and you, uh, it, you have to try and get the fastest time. If you want to respawn in a place, if you want to be in the middle, respawn instead of restart the whole track again. Um, to restart. Uh, that makes sense. So this is the game, and we have. 48 people on this track, 45th. Uh, I'm not very good at this game, so don't expect me to be. I, I fail when it comes to games, so let's just play a quick lap. Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright then, um, I'll play the next lap. Uh, I'll just do one lap of it. So this is what happens when you finish, it just shows you the winner, and then it'll show you all the uh, times that you get, and then it, you can see that the, the person who gets the most gets a load of um, points, which is 19, someone's got 19, so 19. Okay, so sorry about that, we'll open the next one. Uh, right, uh, anything else to say? Scores is tab, if you want to see how And I know that I'm going to fail this next lap probably, so we'll see. Uh, you usually get a nice little intro, which shows you the uh, lap. See, this is Orange Mini 1. Uh, I'm not going to show anything, but hey. So, uh, you've got the chat at the bottom left, you've got a speedometer at the bottom right, and you've got the time at the bottom. So the aim is to go as fast as you can around the track. As you can see, there's so many people playing on this, and this is totally free, so you can, you can see it's quite popular. Whoa, there's a lot of people on, it, on this track, and it can get a little confusing, but if I wanted to now, I could just restart this, and then uh, play again then there'll be obviously less people playing at the same time I am, or I could just respawn if there's a problem. So, this is a mini track. Hopefully I have enough speed, yep. So I've just gone off the edge. Oh, we're at the end of the finish. So I managed to get ninth. Yay! Right, well, so that was uh, just a tour of the lap. So, um, as you can see, it's, it's a good game. Um, it's got quite nice graphics. Um, but at the moment, um, I haven't put like serious anti-aliasing or, on or anything. But this is this is a graphic. So if I press the, uh, if I just show you and go down the track a little bit, press the backspace key, it starts me again right at the beginning. Because you have the time in the right hand side, it's counting down for three minutes. You have to try and get the fastest time in that four minutes that it gave you at the beginning. So you can see there's loads of people going around now. They're just going past me. So uh, it's definitely a good game. It's well worth trying out. I'm just going to do a quick tour of it. The single player mode, you have to get medals. That's well worth doing if you want to practice. But um, that's about it really. So you can watch more videos. This is Trapmania Nations Forever. Be sure to check it out if you've got the bandwidth to download the game. It's such a good game. So uh, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.